Hi, welcome to Two Therapists Talking. I'm Jay Blevins. And I'm Jasmine St. John, and we are systems therapists from Madison, Wisconsin. Today we're going to be talking about consistency with your words and actions in regards to relationships. Yeah, one of the things we actually see fairly often is uh, people will come in, I could say a couple comes in, and the one person, um, there's something they really value, they want to do, they want to buy, you know, an activity they want to engage in, and they really want to do that. But they won't say that. No, they set up little plots and scenarios and workarounds and passive-aggressive little comments. And they aren't really feeling like they can have the direct conversation. Right. So they never really say it. They don't say, this is important and I want to do it. Uh, we need to talk about it. They just kind of either avoid it or they actually even deny, oh, no, that's not important. Right. It doesn't matter. But then they go and do it anyway. And it's really hard when you're looking at trying to respect your partner or respect the other person that you're in a relationship with, even if it's a friendship, because the, the person that is doing these actions thinks that they're being so sneaky. They really think that they're just covering it up and it's going to be great. But we all know, we know what it's like when we understand somebody's being passive aggressive or they're keeping something from us or they're doing something behind our back. Well, we know. And that really destroys the frab excuse me, the fabric of the relationship. Yeah, it's, it is, it's almost confusing sometimes. People are so convinced that they're getting away with this. And, you know, you can call them out and say, hey, you're doing this action. Your partner's saying, I'm about ready to leave you right. because you're doing this action. But yet you won't just talk to me and say, hey, I want to do this and make it so that we can make it work. And they're like, oh, no, it's not that important to me. It doesn't matter. Well, are you going to do it? Well, yes. Are you, you know, are you doing it? Yes. yes. Will you do it if it means they leave? Well, I might. So why don't you just say that? Because it's not true. Mm -hmm. And it's you, you sit there and say, how can you continue to do this action at, in spite of everything and then claim it's not important? Right. And the other person just feels cut out and left out and like they're being disrespected. Right. And so if you are looking for a way to be able to build trust and be able to respect each other, it is difficult having those conversations. It's scary. It's hard for all of us. But being able to do so means that the other person respects you because you're being authentic and real with them and they know where they stand. And that's one of the, the hallmarks of being able to have a strong relationship. Absolutely. I think being willing to come forward and own what your choices are, what your desires are, and uh, say this is important to me. And I understand you're not comfortable with it, or you don't like it, or you don't agree, but it is important to me. It is just really important in a relationship to be able to do that uh, for a whole variety of reasons. Absolutely. So thank you so much. And if you have questions or comments, feel free to email us at twotherapisttalking at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for listening. Thanks. Bye-bye.